Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck, and if you don't know who I am, you ask me to learn today. I done done songs with some of the top rappers in the game, like Gucci Mane, Rick Ross, Lil Boosie, Katrina. I done did beats for Ply, and the list goes on and on. But right now, you tune in to Duck Sauce, nigga, quack, quack. <laughs> Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck, and you tune in to Duck Sauce. Yeah! 8, 8.30 in the morning, most of y'all sleep. But my ass, I had to be up, because I had a 9 o'clock radio interview to go do. But hey, it's the life of a hustler. And if you want this shit, nigga, you gotta take this shit. Bro. You feel me? But me and my daughter drives in the car. I don't know what <laughs> what the number it is. All I know is like number 13, 14. <laughs> right. What? When you're like, when somebody in Florida, he say, let's run it. I literally almost crashed my car. Right. Like, you could be in the church house. Yeah. I lost it. I like, almost had to pull over. Yeah. I was like, man, I was like, <laughs> so like it. this is the thing. My dad had grown up. Like, I Talk about this openly in my family. He did like so many years right. in prison. Right. And my daddy, he was like, let's run it then. Okay. <laughs> it's over. That's, that's true. Listen, <laughs> that's running. So you are from Grand Park in Jacksonville, in right, Duval right. County. So you already know. So if you ain't from Florida, you come down here and you get into an altercation. <laughs> if a nigga say let's run it, that means you better be ready. <laughs> Better be you better be hands. ready, cause it's gonna go down like well, without you know, drop. Tell you like this, son. If you ain't from Florida, my nigga, when a bitch say let run it, ain't no time to my going to the car, get your stick, let you go get your home, boy. Boy, you better be ready, boy. Bitch finna take off on you right now, boy. I'm to my for real. You can be in the church high, your mammy high, the jail high. Bitch, when you hear a nigga say let run it, <laughs> yeah, it better be ready. We finna run it, nigga. Fuck, nigga, we can run it, run it, run it. Tell them fuck, nigga, run it, run it, run it. Yeah, nigga, we can run it, run it, run it. Fuck, nigga, let run it, run it. Yeah, nigga, we done it, done it. Fuck, nigga, let run it, run it, run it. Fuck, nigga, you can run it, run it, run it, run it. Tell them pussy, nigga, run it, run it. Hey, what's happening? This your boy Papa Duck, and check this out. Y'all know I got a whole bunch of celebrity homeboys and homegirls. And every time they come to the city, they always ask me one question. Who got the best seafood? And you know, I had to take them to my spot. Y'all done seen me post this place on all my social media. And every time I post it, everybody from all over the world be asking me, where is this spot at? And you guessed it right here in Orlando, Florida. So you know I had to take them through there. And you already know what it is. The Seafood Station. <laughs> Boy, Papa Duck, I told y'all I'm gonna take y'all to my favorite spot, the spot that I love to go at for my seafood. To get all my seafood, you feel me? And we already here. I am. You already know what it is. Now let's go inside and see what they got going on. They couldn't get me something. It's good, it's good, 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 good. And you already know what it is. Hello, how y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, y'all already know we here at the seafood station. I tell a lot of people about this spot. People always hit me up from everywhere when they come down here. They want to know where the seafood at, and I brought them to the spot. And this is the spot. Y'all already know. Okay. So listen, I want to know this, man. I know everybody want to know. How did y'all come up with that name, Seafood Station? 
Well, um, seafood section, it was easy. I just kind of knew that we was already in the process of selling seafood. So right. then we just added the station to a seafood station. We wanted to do everything seafood because that's what my husband specializes in. Right, right, right. Definitely, definitely. And like I say, listen, best food, seafood, come here. Then where you got to come get it at. I tell you that, I want to ask you this. What's the most popular dish people come in here and order? I would say um, the most popular is our um, garlic steamed shrimp platter. A lot right. of people used to call it the shrimp bowl back in the days when we first started. Right. Um, so I would say that's the most popular. Okay, while we're on that, how did y'all get started? Uh, we, we actually started from the back of our trunk. Woo. Yeah, we actually started from the back of our trunk. We right. were uh, always having seafood parties at our house. Right. A lot of our family used to come over right. and try the food, and then they kind of pushed us for like, we need to go ahead right. and sell the food. Right, right, right. I always knew it was, my husband cooked good food, I just didn't know it was good enough to sell. Wow. So they kind of pushed us out, we just started from the back of our trunk, hustling, going to hair salons, going to barber shops, and putting our name out there. Definitely. Y'all see that? That's how you get it. You gotta start from somewhere. So if your old man got a dream, you better follow it. Yeah. You never know where you may end up at, you feel me? But right now, we're finna jump off into some of these shrimp for let y'all see how this thing look. Yeah. Let get off in this plate. I'm gonna show y'all. Like, I like eating out with ketchup. Uh, look. Put the ketchup on my shrimp. It's so good. What is it? It's so good. So good. I'm telling y'all, the shrimp so good. Oh, shit. Miss. Yeah. Did you throw me up? Tell me my thing. You want some of good food? Are you see this shrimp, man? It's if you want this some good seafood, it's in Orlando. Um, right here. Where is that? Orlando. Orlando water. Now I'm gonna get to this food. I'm gonna have that tall later. You feel me? Put your hands in there and sling that in the face. Get it up. When it's over with, it's over with. Oh man, fuck that plate. Ugh. Seafood station, where is that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be real with you, man, I love the seafood station, man. I love the fact that they black owned, and I really love the fact that they family oriented with the restaurant. You feel what I'm saying? Something we all need to be doing and thinking about so we can leave our children something. Working for yourself. That's the whole reason why I'm bringing this vlog to y'all. You feel me? I want y'all to see that y'all can make this happen, man. And y'all can see that Seafood Station wasn't enough on their way. Don't be surprised they get franchised. You feel what I'm saying? Food damn show good. The service good. And like I say, when you grinding, you can't go no better with it. <laughs> yeah! Y'all already know it's Chef Leo at the Seafood Station. You watch Adult Sauce. <laughs> What's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck. Listen, I just left the seafood station. Jay got me some of them squimp. So I'm full of the fish. And you already know. Now I'm headed to my dog and she's a nail tech. She do nails. You know what I'm saying? You know how you female. Yeah, your, your old lady wanna go get them nails done right. So you can... Yeah, that. Finna pull up on her and she finna let y'all know how to get started. How she got started. Cause like I say, this is gonna be educational. You understand me? This is duck sauce. I want y'all to be able to better y'all family. I want y'all to be able to better your living arrangement, whatever it is, man, better your life. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm finna pull up on her right now. And don't go no damn well. <laughs> just pulled up on my dog, we just got over here. We here now, so I'm finna go in here. She finna tell y'all how to get this thing going with these nails and shit. And, um, we finna do what we do. You already know the deal. They duck sauce. Screen low. Screen low. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's your boy Papa Duck. Okay, here we go. She in that bitch somewhere. We finna find out where I'm at. 
she gonna pull up on me. Dog, do nails. And she do good ass nails. I'm telling y'all, hold on, check this out. Oh, this shit go right here. Wow, we here. We all here. What's going on? Hey! They do what they do. We is here. We live. This is duck sauce. Yes. Listen, I told y'all I'm gonna pull up now. Let y'all know if you're trying to get in this nail game, she finna let you know how to get in it, what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's gonna be real educational. And I'm gonna show y'all around. So y'all can see the atmosphere. Y'all already know real pinky up in. And you already know what's yes. up. Hey guys, this is <laughs> Two Spice Hey, also known as Diamond Sky. Um, I've been doing nails for about nine years now and I love everything about it. I love my clientele, I love working with people, and I just love making people feel beautiful. Definitely. And you already know it's going down. Listen, 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 but listen. Let them know how, how if you want to get started in doing nails, how can you get started? Like, how you got started? Well, you definitely want to go to school. Um, right. I will say nails is definitely something you have to have a passion for. Right. Um, it's not something that you're born with. It's something that you have to keep at in order to get good. Mm -hmm. Practice makes perfect. So you got to practice, practice. But you definitely want to go to school, get your license, so you can do it the right way. Definitely. And listen, this we're going to ask you want to know this. Uh, as far as like with the people you deal with, how important is it to be customer friendly? Like a lot of people don't get that with businesses. And the people don't understand when you treat your customers a certain way, it kind of affects your business. How important that is to you? For me, I don't look at my customers as customers. They're definitely my family. Right. I always tell people, right. loyalty is number one. Right. If you treat somebody good, even if you make a mistake once or twice, they're gonna come back just because of the relationship that you have built with them. Right. So I always tell people, when you're in this business or any type of business where you're dealing with people, you definitely have to be careful how you treat people. I stand behind my work 100%. Right. So if any customers ever have an issue, I always tell them to come back, you know, charge on certain things. Right. And I just love my people like I say whether they're celebrities or not all of my customers are celebrities to me definitely now check this out this is what I want to know personally what is like what's the most like the most popular type of nail people come in here and get right now I would definitely have to say it's the bling nails it's everything okay. with the stones kind of something similar to this display hand right um everybody just loves the stones they are pretty pricey but again people you gotta remember you get what you pay for right they're actually crystals they're Swarovski crystals so they're not regular rhinestones like you would get at some of the asian uh, local shops right 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 definitely listen so i already know if you're in the club and that thing bling bling you know I know <laughs> yeah i know you're spotting less up <laughs> but yeah man i just had to pull up on the dog you know what i'm saying you already know how we do man the sales are tough so and if you in the Orlando area, you feel me? I'm gonna let my dog tell y'all how y'all can come in here and get right. You know what I'm talking about? So when you're ready to be bedazzled or you're tired of the ordinary and want to try extraordinary, please reach out to me via number 321-800-0371. Again, 321-800-0371, Tay or Diamond Sky. And you heard it right here. And ain't no telling who I'm gonna pull up on next, you feel me? I gotta say, man, y'all go ahead and get it right, man. It's time to get right. We ain't doing that no more, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna put our money where our mouth at, and we're gonna make these careers pop, you understand me? And see the ducks out. There you have it, man. Another successful sister. Another successful woman that followed her dreams. I'm focused, man. Follow your dreams, man. Become what you want to, man. It's all motivation right here, baby. And I'm so proud of her, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, to see her go from where she was to where she at now, ain't nothing but love. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So if you're listening, man, hopefully this motivates you to do whatever it is you got to do or support whoever you know that's trying to go somewhere. You feel what I'm saying? It's duck sauce, man. Bitch, I'm on my dick right now. I'm telling you why. I'm a bitch, I'm ready to do a hundred years All that wild listen, on my motherfucking chillin' Don't fuck me right now, bro She boy pop it up But what these streets? Make a motherfucker cry, nigga My God, these streets These streets will make a grown man cry My God, these streets These streets will make a grown man cry. 
these streets and make a grown man. These streets, these streets and make a grown man. From prison, said send a few. But to tell you the truth, nigga, I here fucked up too. My lady asked why we don't have a good relationship. The bitch you spend most of your time on Facebook. I swear to God, I wanna stop.